Well, let's get a bit more now on the US-led initiative on how to defend democracy and fight autocracy. It's also part of a year-long drive to combat corruption. Well, joining me now to discuss this is Dr. Kevin Casasamora. He's Secretary General of International Idea, and that's the Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the program. It's quite timely, this conference, coming after recent studies suggest there's been a dramatic decline in democracy. Why is that? Is that just because of how governments have been reacting to the pandemic? Democracy is facing severe uh, headwinds uh, now, but has been facing uh, severe headwinds uh, before the pandemic. What the pandemic has done is really turbocharge those trends and uh, affect, in particular, those countries where democracy and the rule of law were ailing even before the pandemic. So as in many other things, the pandemic has been an, uh, a, a force to magnify, to amplify, to accelerate trends that were already in place. So can we reverse this trend or do we have to, if you like to coin a phrase, build back better with a new model? I mean, we should be a very mindful of the plight of democracy, but we should also see this situation with a, a, with a sense of opportunity because the fact of the matter is that what we're seeing over the past two years suggests that very important elements of the democratic construct a, are in good shape. I mean, there's something to work with. I mean, when you see what has happened with the, the capacity of countries around the world to hold credible elections despite the horrible conditions created by the pandemic, when you see the explosion of civic activism that has taken place uh, all over the world over the past two years, those are two very important elements of democracy. So we have something to work with towards a better future for democratic systems. One final question before we let you go. You know, it's a noble cause, uh, this drive for greater democracy around the world. Uh, but does the United States have the moral authority to host this? It's a valid question. I think that what is more important, uh, you know, rather than asking who is the host, is what's the spirit with which the discussion is conducted. And inevitably, in light of what's happening certainly in the United States, and not just there, also in some very proud members of the European Union, uh, I think it is essential to have this discussion with a spirit of humility. And uh, in, a, in a way in which we learn that no democratic model is hegemonic, and that we can have a pluralistic conversation about democracy where all the different countries can learn from each other. There's no such a thing as a perfect democracy, and that has become painfully evident uh, in the recent past. I mean, we're all trying to cope with the same forces that are weakening democracy uh, globally.